Hi everyone, welcome to Learn IT with Venkat. Today's video we are going to see about Ether channel configuration using Cisco Pocket Tracer. Before I start my configuration, I would like to explain what is Ether channel and what are the types supported by this configuration. Ether channel is nothing but it's a port link aggregation technology. Aggregation means grouping. So we are going to group several physical Ethernet ports in your switch to form one logical Ethernet link. If you take your switch, it is coming with 24 ports minimum and that ports connected with your end devices. Okay. What is the purpose of this Ether channel? The purpose is to provide two things. One is to provide fault tolerance and another one is to improvise your speed of your local area network between your switches and routers and to the servers. Okay. If you take this topology, there are end devices connected with the switches. Okay. End devices supporting the bandwidth of 1000 Mbps speed and switches support the data rate 100 Mbps only. Okay. Suppose if the end devices started sending a data with the data rate of 1000 Mbps when the data frame entered into the switches here it supports only 100 Mbps. So what could be the result? There will be a congestion. Okay. So then there will be a data losses. So what I have to do? I have to go with multiple links between your switches. So here your switch supports fast Ethernet. So if I am having a multiple links, then it will support redundancy. Redundancy means multiple links. So if there is any one failure occur, then there is an another link to carry out your data to the recipient side. And I am going to group this link together to form one logical link. Why? It will increase the speed. So if each link is supporting 100 Mbps, if I am grouping 8 links, then your data transmission will be at the speed of 800 Mbps. So through this, you can achieve two things. One is fault tolerance and another one is high speed. How I can do it? There are two ways of implementation. So one is port aggregation protocol implementation or we can go with link aggregation protocol. We call it as PAGP and LACP and each these types supports different modes. Under PAGP we are having on, desirable, auto and off modes. Under LACP we are having on, active, passive and off mode. Okay. We will see one by one. I am going to the topology now. So here I have taken three switches, switch 1, switch 2 and switch 3 connected with one another. Here I have connected two links between the switches. So if you take switch 1 and switch 2 connected with port numbers FA0 slash 1 and 2 and if you take switch 1 and 3 it is connected with port numbers FA0 slash 3 and 4 and if you take the switches switch 3 and switch 2 these two connected with the port numbers 5 and 6. Okay. First I am going to the switch 1 and checking whether I am having any ether channel by default in my switch or not. So for that so ether channel. So here as of now there is no group and similarly go to switch to enable so ether channel. So here also no ether channel group and uh, here enable so ether channel so as of now there is no default ether channel group so what i am going to do here i am going to create it so what types here i am going to configure lacp this side and uh, this side also i am going to configure lacp and uh, this side i am going to configure pagp protocol okay okay fine and switch one and switch two having a port channel group 1 and switch 1 and 3 is going to work under the group 2 and switch 2 and 3 is going to work under the group called 3. Okay. So here I am going to create 3 channels. First I am going to switch 1. So here in switch 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 are the ports under usage. So configure terminal, interface range and we already knowing it. The links between the switches we call it a trunk interface range FA0 slash 1 to 4 switch port mode trunk. First we have to convert that ports under trunk mode. Okay. And WR and go to your switch 2. Switch 2 is also using 4 ports configure terminal interface range FA0 slash 1 hyphen 2 and here 5 and 6. So, comma. FA0 slash 526 
एंड स्विच पोर्ट मोड ट्रंक ओके एंड डब्ल्यू आर टू सेव योर कॉन्फिग्रेशन एंड गो टू द थर्ड स्विच एंड दिस स्विच इज यूजिंग थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ओके सो हियर कॉन्फिगर टर्मिनल इंटरफेस रेंज एफ ए जीरो स्लैश थ्री टू सिक्स विच इज गोइंग टू वर्क अंडर द मोड ट्रंक ओके एंड डब्ल्यू आर फाइन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू फॉर्म अ इथर चैनल ग्रुपिंग ओके नाउ गो टू स्विच वन एंड हियर कॉन्फिगर टर्मिनल फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू टेक स्विच वन स्विच वन फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट फॉर पोर्ट चैनल वन सो इंटरफेस range f a 0/1-2 ports are going to be under channel 1 so enter so here channel hyphen group is my command and give the question mark so here you can create how many channels six channels you can create here i am going to create channel 1 and followed by that question mark you have to define the mode so give the question mark here you could create modes for lacp pagp and here you have different modes active auto desirable on and passive this said i am going to create for lacp with active mode enter okay end wr and configure terminal interface port channel 1 here i am going to define this port channel 1 mode as trunk okay because this channel grouping the interfaces of trunk mode end wr now if you give so ether channel and here you could see there is only one group and which is in the layer 2 device and number of ports grouped is 2 maximum ports you can group it 16 but 8 only active and port channel number is going to be 1 here and the protocol which you have configured is lacp okay and here you can give ether channel summary and here you could see group is 1 and port is 1 and sd sd means s stands for layer 2 and d means down because another side you haven't configured so up to that it will be down and protocol lacp and here what are the interfaces you have group fa0/1 and 0/2 and the flag is i by once you configured i means stand alone why we haven't configured the another side so go to your switch to configure terminal so interface range f a 0 slash 1 hyphen 2 and this is going to be channel hyphen group 1 and mode it is going to be active mode so exit interface port channel 1 and this also going to be under trunk okay end wr if you give here so ether channel so here also you have you are having only one group layer to switch and port two ports you have used maximum 16 and port channel number is 1 and the protocol is lacp and if you give summary and here you can see s u flag s means layer 2 and u means your port is in use okay because both the sides configured now and here you can see the flag for your interface is p p means now it is in the port channel it is active in the port channel okay that is what the flag you can also reissue the same command in the switch 1 before it was i now i am reissuing the same command now it changed to p now these two are connected under ether channel lacp now go to switch 1 i am going to this side so this side port number is 3 and 4 same task configure terminal interface range fa0/3-4 and here i am going to create a channel group number 2 and mode give question mark here also i am going to make it lacp but for example i am going to make it for passive this side passive means it will not take part in negotiation of ether channel and uh, exit so interface port channel 2 and this is also going to be port switch port mode trunk so end wr and so ether channel now so in switch 1 now you are having two groups group 1 and group 2 and uh, so ether channel summary so here you have group 1 and 2 group 1 which is connected with fa0/1 and 0/2 and 3 or 4 are connected with group 2 and which is in port channel number 
and which is down now because this side we haven't configured yet so it is down now and uh, go to this switch 3 configure terminal interface range fa0 slash 3 hyphen 4 and this is under channel group 2 and mode that side you have given for passive so it will not actively participate in the negotiation of ether channel so this side i am going to give active okay so active means it will take a part in the negotiation of converting the other side for ether channel okay for exit interface port channel 2 switch port mode trunk end wr now give so ether channel so here you have only one group 2 and uh, which is in l2 device and number of ports used is 2 and number of channels here is 1 okay and port you have used is lacp and here so ether channel summary so here channel number 2 port channel 2 and here protocol lacp and here it is up and p means it is taking part in your port channel okay fine now if you give here the same command you could see the changes now all the ports 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 becomes p p p means in the port channel actively participated in the port channel and su means layer 2 and up now go to switch 3 now i am going to configure for this side so configure terminal interface range fa0 slash 5 hyphen 6 and this is going to be under group 3 and mode this i already told you this link is going to be under port aggregation protocol which is the cisco proprietary protocol only supported in your cisco devices okay so give question mark for pagp here we are having auto and desirable so this side i am going to make it for desirable and uh, exit interface port channel 3 and switch port more trunk okay end wr and here give so ether channel summary so here you can see here two groups two and three and uh, three is still down because this side we haven't configured and three supports pagp with the port numbers five and six and uh, it is having flag i i means standalone okay because until unless you configure the another side it will be under down only okay so go to the switch to configure terminal interface range fa0 slash 5 to 6 channel hyphen group and which is going to be 3 mode this side i have given desirable suppose if this side i am going to give auto okay so auto command exit interface port channel 3 switch port mode trunk okay exit do write exit so ether channel summary so switch 2 is supporting 1 and 3 this side and this side both are up now and uh, 1 supporting lacp and 3 supporting pagp with the port numbers 1 and 2 for lacp and 5 and 6 for pagp okay now i am going to check with the support of pc so this side is going to be one pc and this side is going to be one pc and this side i am going to connect another pc so give the connection switch 2 to pc switch 1 to pc switch 3 to pc now i am going to give ip address for example this 192 168 1 point let it be 2 and 192 1.1 let it be a gateway for an assumption so desktop here 192.168.1.3 gateway 192.168.1.1 and uh, this pc 192.168.1.4 192.168.1.1 is my gateway now go to your command prompt pink 192.168.1.2 i'm pinking now i am getting the replay and 3 yes from this pc i can connect all the devices and uh, go to this pc command prompt ping 192.168.1.3 
yes now all the pcs can connect with and communicate with one another okay now what i am going to do for, for example i am going to shut down this port fa0/2 and i am going to check for fault tolerance okay because here we are having redundancy in links so if any one link is getting down your communication will not get affected we are going to check it out configure interface fa0/2 and here i am giving shutdown command so once you have given shutdown the link is down here and uh, end wr so ether channel summary now you could see in your port channel 1 your fa0/2 is dd means down okay but the fast ethernet fa0/1 is in your port channel so it is still it is in active so how i can check it out go to the same pc and here ping any device now still this pc can communicate with another pc okay so it is providing the fault tolerance even though if any one link is getting down the pcs can easily connect with another the same like that here i am going to shut down configure terminal interface fa0/5 give the command called shut down okay and end wr give so ether channel summary and uh, here if you check in your channel 3 your port number fa0/5 is in down mode flags this down but 6 is still up okay so this pc for example if you take and uh, if i am giving any other device ip address then here this pc can also communicate with any other device so it is providing the fault tolerance again you can make this port up so configure terminal interface fa0/2 give no shutdown command and uh, the end wr and you have to make this side also so go here configure terminal interface fa0/2 give no shutdown command okay then your port will become up the end wr okay so ether channel summary now you could see all the ports are up same like that here go to switch 3 configure terminal interface fa0/5 give command no shutdown command end wr and give so ether channel summary and here also all the ports will become up okay wr fine hope you all understand if you like this video click like button and share with your friends subscribe the channel bye bye